Welcome to the Art and Science of Joy podcast. This podcast is all about inspiring people to live more joyfully. So if you're seeking a bit more joy in your own life or seeking to bring some more joy to the lives of others, then this podcast could well be for you. And welcome to the Year of Joy series in which I talk to experts on special powers, which we call joy superpowers, each and every one of us can cultivate in order to build more joy into our lives. I'm Andrew Cannon, and I have the honor to be your host. And in this episode, I'm excited to be talking with Natalie Siston about the joy superpower of positive intelligence. Natalie is the program experience leader at Positive Intelligence, and in her role, she brings positive intelligence to companies around the world through partnerships, presentations, and the flagship EQ program. And formerly, she has been named Ninja Nat because of her deft problem-solving skills. Natalie has 20 years and more experience coaching, developing leaders, and strengthening teams in the nonprofit, higher education, and corporate sectors. Natalie resides in Dublin, Ohio, with her husband and two daughters. She is the author of the best-selling book, Let Her Out, Reclaim Who You Have Always Been. And in her free time, Natalie enjoys watching her daughters dance, run, play soccer, softball, and spoiling her two rescue dogs. Welcome to the show, Natalie. I am delighted to be with you, Andrew. What a great way to start the day and year. It is indeed, and welcome to 2023, and I wish you an abundance of joy and positive intelligence um, for the year. Let's kick off really by defining positive intelligence. I, I think many of our listeners might be thinking, well, what is that? So perhaps you can give us a brief rundown on, on what it means. Absolutely. Positive intelligence was founded by Shirzad Shamin, who is a world-renowned coach, executive leader, and he formulated this idea nearly a decade ago to really figure out what's at the crux of our personal and professional development. And the core of positive intelligence is us being mentally fit. So you'll hear me use the term mental fitness probably interchangeably with positive intelligence because we see them as very similar. And to get to bottom line it for you, Andrew, you know, when we think about the definition of positive intelligence and mental fitness, it's the ability to handle life's challenges from a positive rather than a negative mindset. It's one of those definitions that's almost so simple when you look at it on the surface, but when you start to dig beneath, you see how complex that actually is. And that's the body of work we um, we, we do at Positive Intelligence. Well, that's amazing, Natalie, because I think and I feel it's very easy to get dragged into a mindset of negativity. It somehow seems to be a place of comfort for us. Yeah, absolutely. And science shows that we are pre pre-programmed to have a negative emotional response instead of a positive emotional response. So that's what we're up to at positive intelligence is how do we start to train our brains? How do we start to you know build and rewire our circuitry in our brain so that we we can respond that immediate response can be positive rather than negative because mm -hmm. we we are wired as humans to go right to that that survival place. Yeah, and I think that's amazingly important for us to understand because a lot of people maybe think, well, I don't need to worry about it, you know. And and so if you then think about it, well, if you don't worry about it, your natural position is going to be negative. So it's not neutral. Your natural position is not neutral. Even to get to neutral, you have to put some work in. Yeah, absolutely. And we, and, you know, if I can, I can go into a little bit more of the science, Andrew, if it'd be of interest to you. So, you know, the science shows that our negative emotions and our positive emotions live in different regions of the brain. So it's been proven that when you're wiring and firing and all of the words we used to talk about our, our, our neurons and neuroscience, they are occurring in different parts of the brain. So if we can strengthen the areas of our brain where the positive emotion, which we call sage, a positive intelligence lives, we're going to be in a much happier, joyful state than if we continue to let these you know, these pre-programmed wires continue to fire in our negative part of our brain, which we refer to as saboteurs. Saboteurs and sages. I love those terms. They are really wonderful. So please 
you know, tell us a little bit about what does the science say about the benefits of letting your sage out to play, if I could put it that way. The science will tell you almost everything you can imagine. It will tell you about what it means to live in this positive mindset rather than negative mindset. You know, you'll sleep better. You'll have lower stress levels. You'll be more productive. Your relationships will be healthier. I think one of the most compelling pieces of research we have at Positive Intelligence is that when you're mentally fit, when you're doing the work we prescribe through Positive Intelligence, you are um, it, it, it immediately makes you your emotional intelligence go up. Um, it's a direct correlation between uh, with 17 of the 18 emotional intelligence competencies, which is huge. Like think of any other development program, professional growth program where you can immediately impact 17 of 18 of any competency. And because this is really all about self-awareness and others awareness your your ability to relate to yourself and other people immediately rises the minute you start to focus on that positive mindset rather than that negative mindset. So that's a huge piece of, of research that we're really excited about because you can then go down the research line and see um, higher levels of emotional intelligence have so much impact on our lives professionally, personally, in so many profound ways. And, and we know we can be part of that if done the right way. Fantastic. And so, you know, this, a lot of the work you do is with organizations and, and companies and helping them, you know, un uncover the benefits of positive intelligence. But you mentioned also has benefits in your personal life, in your private life, as well as in your work life, correct? Absolutely. Yeah, we, we've we seen that. And, and so I, I, like you said in my introduction, I run our client success organization. So partner with organizations across the world and nothing makes my day than leading, reading our survey results. And I know you're also a quant guy, so you love a good survey. And so I love a good survey. And I, if I'm ever having a bad day, Andrew, all I do is open up our survey tool and go see what the participants of our program are saying, because they're saying things like, you helped save my marriage. I have a better relationship with my teenage daughter. I lost my job and I handled it beautifully. Um, it's, it's, the, these are these life-changing moments that I take for granted because, you know, I'm, I'm a part of this company. I've drunk, I've drunk the proverbial Kool-Aid, yeah. but to see that it's, that it's having that much of an impact on people day in, day out in work, out of work is, is unlike anything I've, I've seen in my, you know, 20 plus years of doing this type of work. I know it's amazing. Those, those stories that, that you hear when, when people, you know, use your tools, your expertise to actually, you know, make these huge changes in their lives it's so heartwarming to do that you mentioned earlier the sort of the word joy which as you know is very dear to, to my heart and our mission to bring more joy to the world and we're so super excited to have you folks at positive intelligence um working together with us to you know use this superpower to bring more joy to people's lives i was wondering how you see the link between the two how do you see the link between being more positively intelligent and having more joy in your life? Quite simply, I don't believe you can be joyful unless you're tapped into your your positivity and, in, and you are strong mental fit wise. You know, we you can't you can't fake happiness. You can't fake joyfulness. And I think that's what I love so much about the positive intelligence framework is it's not about, you know, the term toxic positivity, where you're putting on a big smile, even though inside you're crumbling. It's not about that. It's about helping you work through all of those negative emotions. So you can identify where is it coming from? How can I stem it where it is? And how can I transfer that into this positive energy? When you do that, you can't fake, you can't fake the joy. Like you feel your body opening up to the possibilities because all of a sudden you're using this part of your brain that's been dormant for a while, or you realize I now know how to articulate myself and I know how to get beyond myself so I can experience true joy, true happiness, true love, all the positive emotions, Andrew. Oh, you're definitely drinking the Kool-Aid, Natalie, and, <laughs> and walking the talks. <laughs> that is so wonderful to see um you're definitely at the right place where you're working that's for sure and you can see how it's having a positive impact in in your own life which is fantastic so 
could you tell us a little bit about your own path to discovering the power of positive intelligence? Was it there with you as a child or did you find it along the way? I actually uncovered positive intelligence in 2020. So it's fairly recent in my life. I was invited to participate in the positive intelligence program, which is an app guided program that walks you through all of the, you know, the science and the practices and the daily habits you build. So I was introduced to that program in January of 2020. So just the time frame I think is important here as part of this story. So I, I participated in the program with a coach that I'm familiar with. He said, Hey, I, you know, I, I interviewed Sherzad and he invited me to have people join him in this program. Would you be up for it? And at the time I was working as a coaching leader at a fortune 100 company mm -hmm. and said, yeah, absolutely. This is, this is part, this is my job. I see it as my duty to learn about all of these tools. And within the first two weeks of experiencing the work, reading the book, so this is all based on the book, Positive Intelligence, I just found myself being transformed. I was in the midst of my busiest professional season, a busy personal season. My children at the time were you know, much younger than they are now. And you know, the younger your kids are, the more they demand of you. And somehow I found the time and space to devote to this program that was all of a sudden shining a really bright light on the saboteurs, that term I mentioned earlier. So these these things that are causing all this negative emotion in my life and learning how to convert that into the positive emotion. And I, I think I was at the right place professionally and personally to experience it. And um, and I was hooked. And I think a lot of the people who've experienced this work will use the same word. They say they're hooked because they realize that they needed in their lives. And I realized I needed in my life March 2020, um, because we all know what happened March 2020. You know, the world starts shutting down because of COVID. And there were days when I wouldn't do my positive intelligence practice. And there were days I did. And I can I noticed a difference. It's almost like on the days you eat really good food and you get movement compared to the days where you eat poorly and you don't move and you your body feels it. My body and my mind felt a difference when I did this practice. And and that's when I knew that I, I wanted to find a way forward and be more involved with this organization. And the rest is history. It started from that day forward. Brilliant. Fantastic. Fantastic. You know, I can imagine there are people listening, thinking that, well, you know, Natalie looks like a natural, positively intelligent person. And I don't quite feel that way. Um, but I presume from what I understand is that everybody can develop their positive intelligence and maybe you could share you know just some of the steps people could take to to start on that journey wherever they are today wherever they are today. absolutely that's this is what i love the most about positive intelligence it is super simple to follow and now once again like i said that definition at the beginning it's super simple on the surface and when you dig mm -hmm. into it there's much more beneath so i'm going to give you the super simple four-step process for embedding more positive intelligence into your life and everyone is invited to go unpack that for themselves and learn more through you know the work we're going to do together this year through the, the you know the resources on our website so the first step is to uh, recognize when you're in negative emotion, recognize when you're being sabotaged, when you're in saboteur mode, as we call it. So that's the first step, Andrew. Quite, quite honestly, it's just recognizing, oh, negative emotion is happening. Yes. And then, yeah, awareness. So step one. Step two is pausing and doing something we call a PQ rep. So PQ stands for positive intelligent quotient, much like you have EQ, IQ, we have PQ. You do a PQ rep, which is a sensory experience you might do for 10 seconds, you might do for a minute, you might do for two minutes, whatever you need to do to regulate yourself mm. and pull. And what happens in that PQ rep, you're pulling yourself from that negative thinking pattern in to a neutral or positive thinking pattern. So that's step two is to pause and, and do what we call a PQ rep and they're sensory. So if people are interested in one right now, it's you're rubbing your two fingertips together. So you feel such a tension that you feel all the ridges of those fingertips mm -hmm. doing that for 10 seconds. It, it starts to 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 send um, neurons to different places in your brain, so you're wired more positively. Then you choose a positive sage response. You say, "What's the gift and opportunity in this negative emotion I'm having?" So it's saying, "I get it. There's a gift here somewhere." 
And it's quite honestly just saying, okay, there's a gift here. Maybe you generate it in that moment, or maybe you say, I know later there'll be a gift in this moment. And then the final and fourth step is you pick a specific sage power, which I referenced earlier. You know, there's, there's five of them. Once you learn about what they are, you can start to use them in any situation you're in to move from that negative to positive. So it's recognize, do PQ reps, recognize the gift and opportunity, and then pick a sage power to help you move forward in that positive emotion, positive mindset. Fantastic. Thanks. So on, on the surface, super simple, needing practice, needing practice like any yeah. other behavior. Yeah. Yes. And what the science shows is that you need to do this practice for 15 minutes a day uh, for six to eight weeks to see noticeable change via an MRI scan. So if you're doing if you're doing these PQ reps, as I call them, and I, I like to say I do them with breakfast, lunch, and dinner <laughs> when I wake up and with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So doing two to three minutes of PQ rep, these brain activation techniques, um, when you do those for uh, 15 minutes a day for six to eight weeks is when you start to see your brain activity change through an MRI. That's wonderful. That's so wonderful. So I know a lot of the people listening are part of the Year of Joy community and therefore also are going to be invited to join you and us in the forum where we're going to start practicing these things over the coming weeks. What can people expect there? What are some of the things that the joys in store for them? I love that you asked that question. And I think what's great, and I am a logical person, so I love that it's four weeks of a, you know of an experience because it's really digging into those four steps that I just talked about. And you know, if people want to get a head start on that, Andrew, I would recommend that they take the saboteur assessment. We have a free saboteur assessment on our website that where you can go and you can learn of the of the nine saboteurs that we've identified through our factor analysis research. What are the one, two, or three saboteurs that are impacting you on a daily basis? So we're going to spend time when we're together learning about the saboteurs and understanding how they're showing up and affecting everyday life. And then, of course, we'll be able to have uh, time together to talk about converting to SAGE and learning about those SAGE powers. But the first step is definitely going to be to uh, do some discovery on, on our saboteurs. That's going to be fantastic. And that's going to get people going towards this six to eight week sort of change process that they're going to go for before they really start seeing that those those benefits kick in and become ha new habits, I suppose. Um, new things they don't have to think so consciously about that become second nature with their breakfast, lunch and dinner, um, <laughs> as you said. So I think it's a, it's a wonderful thing to help people get on that journey. Absolutely. It's going to be, it's perfectly timed. I think that's when we connected all of these things just seemed perfectly timed. I don't believe in coincidences anymore. And I think mm. us being together is a sign of that. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think these things go, go together really, really well. And we're so grateful to have you with us on this journey to help bring joy to people. And talking of which, what brings you joy, Natalie? It's always a question we love to ask. So I'm going to ask you. Oh my goodness. I think my joy really happens in lots of areas in my life. So personally, I get a lot of joy from music. I sing in my church choir and I am a returning from retirement, low brass instrument player via the trombone and baritone. So those are new things I'm starting to pick back up into my life, but it gives me so much joy. I love watching my daughters in all of their activities. Truly. I, I think that there's nothing Nothing makes me tear up more than see my daughters take the stage or take the field because I see their bravery out there trying new things. And I, I absolutely melt every time that happens. And quite frankly, I, I get joy from what we're doing right now. I get joy from the fact that I get to be a person who's introducing this positive intelligence concept to people around the whole world who you know, I, I like to say our life is in two parts. It's before we know about positive intelligence and after we know about positive intelligence. And so I, I, I get joy out of being on that cut line for people where, you know, before, before you listen to this, you didn't know anything about this. Uh, now, you know, just a teensy bit more and are hopefully intrigued enough to go start your own mental fitness journey. 
That is fantastic, Natalie. I'm afraid that's all we've got time for today. So I'd really like to thank you so, so much um, for coming on and talking with me today. It's been a pleasure and a joy chatting with you. Likewise, I can't wait to see where the year of joy takes all of us. I'm sure we'll be toasting toasting at the end of the year to successful year of joy um, brought by you and your colleagues. Thank you so much. I hope so too. And I feel so definitely. And I hope you, our listeners, enjoyed this podcast episode as much as I did recording it. And I hope you feel inspired to cultivate your own joy superpower of positive intelligence. If you're already a member of the Year of Joy community, please join us in the Positive Intelligence Forum, where we said over the next few weeks, we'll be working together on integrating some of the positive intelligence building blocks that Natalie just mentioned into our lives. And if you're not already a member of the Year of Joy community, please visit our website to find out more and to join. You can find the address in the show notes. And if you want to find out more about in positive intelligence right away today, Natalie, can you tell us where people can go? Absolutely. The best place to go to get started is to take the saboteur assessment. And we have a special link just for you listening to this podcast and participating in the year of joy. So that ad- address is pq.tools slash year of joy. pq.tools slash year of joy will get you started on that journey by uncovering your saboteurs. Brilliant. And you'll also be able to find that in the show notes. So thank you, Natalie, for sharing that. Thanks once again, listeners, for listening. And I hope you tune in for the next episode of the Art and Science Joy podcast. Until then, stay well, stay joyful, and be positively intelligent.